And Mike's on stage. Well, that's the weirdest part of the whole story, is Mike's on stage. <laughs> and Billy's on stage. Well, the, room's the, the room really filled up. Well, they're shifting all one to see, would Mike come on stage or not? Oh, that's and amazing. now you've seen it. Thank you, everybody. Have a great evening. That's all for today. Do you think we need to reintroduce ourselves to the people that might have just taken a seat? I'm concerned that all you people who are standing in line and all these names on the screen and all you people who are in your seats are confused by the schedule. Because I know who the next guest is, and I'm not sure he merits this kind of enthusiasm. I believe there's a misprint. Oh, I get it. Got it. This, this is Saturday. Sunday is tomorrow. Go home. Have a dinner. It's not working. Then they must mean business. Then you must be excited for this next guy. Huh? Woo! Surprisingly so. Like the blazer, the shirt, the shirt's nice. A nice pair of cords. When you do that, it's, it makes it weird, but it is a oh, sock. sock. Those socks are nice. Nice, okay. nice socks. Yeah, great. There's a gift. Okay. Um, you, you look, you look really. Uh, are you applying for a job after this? What's going on? You look, you look good. You look employable. He's gonna. Now you look like you have a turn for like your pants, but I've got a boy out of there. Walk um, off. Yeah, that's great. I, I recently um, decided to be, I, I had one of those mornings where I was like, ah, whatever. Gonna wear those pants again, crumpled up next to the bed. And at lunch, I got up from lunch. Uh, I had lunch with someone that was kind of like a formal meeting. Um, got up, walked away from the table, and the sock fell out of my pants. <laughs> And nothing says, that guy has his shit together. Uh, <laughs> falling out of his pants after lunch. A dirty sock, nonetheless. A very dirty sock. Perfect. Yeah. Great. <laughs> so you've heard over to leave and decided today is Toronto. Clean pants. Clean pants. 70s porn color. So, yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. And maybe that's why I'm attracted to it. It's the 70s porn element. Yeah. Um, I feel like... I feel like 70s porn was kind of like, it, it was the peak of porn. I mean, yeah. I have no microphone that works. Well, I know you've done your homework, so certainly if you think the 70s was the golden era of porn. I'm gonna tell you a little story before you guys leave because I know you're dying to get off this crash. Um, my, my wife's mother and, uh, and her father separated uh, about 15 years ago. They've been together for 25 years. And they separated, and um, Vicky's mom, um, well, she's like the kind of woman who, every time I get in the car after she's been driving, it's tuned to like a very conservative Christian radio. She, made, she, she gave Vicky a promise ring to promise that she wouldn't have sex before she got married. She was very kind of like, you know, clean cut kind of woman. Um, she got separated from her husband of, of you know, a quarter of a century. And uh, just it just turned into this like wild fuck fest, and, <laughs> and uh, oh, good, the eight-year-old is going for the exit. <laughs> Hi, buddy. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm, I'm sorry. So tell me, Ma, thanks for the Christmas present. <laughs> See, <he's the> <laughs> so. Uh, she started driving around with this box of VHS porn tapes in her car that she had this, like she had had this amazing, almost spiritual awakening because of, frankly, 70s porn. And 
was carrying around this box like uh, she had just discovered it so she assumed the rest of the world also didn't yet know about it and so she was like friends and neighbors and son-in-law and daughter were like you guys gotta see this stuff and she gave us this signed by Marilyn Chambers copy of Behind the Green Door. I was like, wow, you guys have to watch this. Which, up until that point, I admit I had been woefully ignorant of. And uh, it's such a cool thing to get from your aging mother-in-law. Like, uh, a video, like, where, like, full... <laughs> I leave it to your imagination, but... Hand-pulling a plenty. <laughs> so hugging and walking and yeah, they just walked their faces off. I bet just all, walking, all, walking, all walking, walking. Faces, yeah. And then uh, Manuel talking and then walk, 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 walk. By the way, uh, I'm sorry, folks. It's not normal. Doesn't normally go this way. Uh, this is not representative. It's not unrepresentative. Yeah, it's not. I would say you're usually halfway through the set before you start offending the entire group. Way to, way to beat the Christmas rush. Ladies and gentlemen, Misha Collins.